The ginger actually cools it down a little bit, but it's a spicy dish. So good. Good morning from foggy, beautiful Delhi, India. This is David Hoffman of David's Been Here, and today I'm headed on a breakfast street food tour of Old Delhi with Anubhav from Delhi Food Walks. This is my first real morning in India, so I haven't had breakfast street food yet. I know it's gonna be mouthwatering and delicious, full of flavors. Let's get to Old Delhi. I'm Anubhav Sapra from Delhi Food Walks, and I've been doing tour, food tours in Delhi for the past seven years. We're gonna eat a lot. Yesterday we ate a lot, but today we're gonna eat more. <laughs> We are going on a full-on breakfast tour today and we are going to stop at nine places to taste the traditional breakfast in Old Delhi. I mean this is delicious. It's sweet. So the tea costs 10 rupees. So this is Old Delhi, it dates back to like the 6th century BC and this area is called the Chanachak area. This is the craziest place to go. It's like it's unorganized chaos. This is amazing. This is like the cable. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, just I never see, you know. Now we, we are walking in the lane, this, the name of this lane is Chavri Bazaar. We are walking to the first food stop. The name of the street, uh, shop is Shyam Sweets. And uh, they make two dishes in the breakfast. They have a dish called Vedmi Puri. It's basically a puff bread stuffed with lentils. And then they uh, serve with a potato curry and chickpeas. In fact, on Sundays, only on Sundays they make pumpkin. Then second, we are going to try Nagori Halwa. It's a pudding made up of semolina in clarified butter with saffron, pistachios and almonds. So we are going to try two dishes at the first food stop. This shop was established in 1910, like more than 100 years old shop. <laughs> this is our first stop. We're stopping at nine, nine places. Nine. Just like yesterday. <laughs> nine, I thought it was five. <laughs> and nine places and some of them have two like this one. Oh, gotta come with a real empty stomach because I, I need to buy a second stomach. <laughs> You get only on Sundays the pumpkin I was telling you about. So this you get only on Sundays. No, it's not good for you. <laughs> so here we have baby me puri. Oh, still smoking hot. Pumpkin or potato curry. Mm. It's a light curry, you know. So here we have potato curry. Mmm, it's very soft, still packed with flavor. Mmm, so this one's the chickpeas, the chole. We have something called hada. Mmm, I like that one. Chickpeas is actually really hot, that's what I like. <laughs> it doesn't feel like too fried, you know, it's like a light fry. So this is called nagori halwa, so this halwa is like a pudding. It's made up of semolina, clarified butter, saffron, sugar and almonds. And the way you eat it is like you hollow this out, then you stuff the halwa inside this puff bread, and then you eat it. Delicious. So we have to open it, stuff it. Oh, look at it, just let it right there. Perfect. Oh my god, this is delicious. Super sweet. I love spicy. This is next? Yeah, we had it yesterday also. Oh, okay. It's fresh or you can try it. The name of this dress is Dalat Ki Chart. And if you literally translate it into English, it means snack of wealth. And this you get only in the winter's month because the summers it can't survive the heat. It's made up of milk and cream. They churn it together. It takes almost five hours to make this much. So what they do is that they keep churning the milk and cream and then the foam is formed. They collect that foam, over it they add some saffron, pistachios and powdered sugar. And you get, at the bottom also they keep it over a brick of ice, if you see here. Wow. Otherwise it will melt. That's why you get it. Thank you. Dola Kichar. Kichar. Dola Kichar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had this yesterday but it's like a creamy milk. Uh, it takes five hours to make it. This is like a super fluffy, delicious dessert. Mmm, super light. It's fantastic. It's basically like whipped cream. That's what it feels like, whipped cream with pistachios on top. Oh my God. One for the gold. Very sweet. Very sweet, right? Very sweet. Creamy. For me, it's like whipped cream. Yeah, whipped cream with pistachios. You say the word chart. 
Like the word chaat is always used for savory dish, like a savory snack, but it's an exception. Although we call it a chaat, but it's like a dessert. B Y O B, bring your own butter. So everyone brings their own butter to that place. So we are going to have chole kulche. Chole is just chickpeas, and kulcha is a white flour baked bread. So it's a very popular dish you get all over Delhi, outside offices, outside universities, outside colleges. Everyone eats it for morning and the afternoon as a lunch as well. And the place where we are going, that's more than 90 years old shop. And he is there only in the morning hours, from 7:30 to 10:30. After that, he moves out from there. So it's very special. Bring your own butter. <laughs> B Y O B. So if you see, like it's like a food festival happening there. So people are standing. On Sundays, they set up two stalls: one for takeaways and one for eating out here. Okay. So this is a big pot of chickpeas. Then you have red chili oil. Then dry mango powder, sauce like sauce of the dry mango powder. Then you have black salt. So here we have a kulcha chole. So chickpeas, it's a little spicy, potato in there. It's mixed with a big piece of butter. And then right next to it we have a piece of bread. So this chole is kulcha. I love that we're in a super small alley and this is like super hidden. So just scoop at this. Mmm. I think I need a bigger bite. <laughs> Oh my God! So if you ever had a dish that is completely filled with butter, this is it. But it's delicious. It's spicy. Mm. The chickpeas. The butter's out of control, man. <laughs> so it's red chili, cilantro, that ginger. There's a lot of things in this. <laughs> mm. What's impressive is how much you taste the butter. It's like overwhelming almost, you know. This is one of my favorite dishes that we had in these past two days. Mmm, the spicy, it's mean and spicy. <laughs> It packed a mean punch because right now I'm like boiling. <laughs> That's only two places so far. Yeah, we still got seven to go. <laughs> I mean, luckily the portions aren't giant, but still, I mean, nine places. Now we are going for some meat. We are going to try nahari. That's a slow cooked meat. Whole night in the morning they eat as a breakfast and then we'll try paya. That's the goat feet. Goat feet. Yeah, that's what we're going to try. What? <laughs> Four years old restaurant. Karim. Yeah, this whole place belongs to same restaurant. Because if anywhere you get the same food. And the name of this lane is Gali Kebab here. That means street of kebabs. So they said that when Mughals were ruling in Delhi, there used to be many kebab sellers here. Now only this restaurant exists. And in the morning they have only two dishes in non-vegetarian. They have only two dishes in breakfast. They have a dish called nahari. And that's nahari is derived from a word called nahar that itself means morning. So this is like a meat which is cooked uh, overnight on low flame, and in the morning they eat as a breakfast. They goat curry you can call it as well. And then they have paya, that's goat feet. So on the streets you'll get uh, buffalo feet, but here it's like mutton goat goat feet. And then we'll have uh, in Beijing they have aloo mutter sir. This is aloo mutter, and this the meat is all for you. <laughs> That's the nahari. This is paya. And that's aloo mutton. Goat feet. Goat curry. So curry. This is green peas and potato and tomato. Yeah. All three, all three of them. <laughs> oh, all three. Okay. So this is for me. So I'm gonna start with the goat feet. And then here we have goat curry. Nice piece of goat right there. Looks spicy, right? Bread. The best bread ever. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, it's very tender. Like normally, the way they make it, it's like that's a sauce. Yeah, it's very tender. Like I really like, and especially this is like one of the best goats I've ever had. Just like melting mm -hmm. in your mouth. And this is this this meat is they also call it workman's meat. And then you go for it. Just go at it. Yeah, it's more like gelatin and fat. Mmm. Yeah, a lot of fat here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the bone marrow, right? Mmm. Wow, delicious! <laughs> it's actually very nice. The goat feet. You think goat foot, and you're like, you know, but yeah, yeah. it's just a piece of bone with fat on top. Oh my god, this is like amazing, actually. I should call Kareem's goat heaven because of how delicious both those dishes were. This place is coming to life right now. You can see it's packed. Probably triple the people that there were half an hour ago. A lot more people now. Yeah, yeah. Actually, being a Sunday, they wake up a bit late. Yeah, but like half an hour ago, yes. there was no one. And now it's like that. Yesterday, we couldn't walk here. Like you're just like your sweet bread. This is like a bread shop only. Okay. And uh, in the morning, they have two bread.
bread called lakha paratha. It's a salty bread and the shrimma is a sweet bread. Okay. So you have to okay. try the shrimma. The dough is made with milk, sugar and cardamom. Sweet one? It's a sweet bread, yeah. They call it shirmal. Shirmal. Yeah, shirmal. The word is sweet, the shirmal. Not too sweet. That's why I thought the next one was going to be like extremely sweet, but no, it's good, it's good. Mm. This is rabdi. Rabdi is like condensed milk. So you keep boiling the milk and keep removing the cream from the top. That's what he's doing. Like he's cutting the cream from the top. And then he will add sugar inside it like a rabdi. What's our next stop? Next we are going for biryani. Biryani? Biryani. And uh, we'll try it. There are two different kinds of biryani. They have buffalo biryani and then they have chicken biryani. Okay. So they have two pots lying out here right next here. People are having it. Perfect. So biryani is basically meat with rice on top. Yeah. So what they do is at the bottom, they cook the meat separately and then the rice separately. At the bottom is a layer of meat, then you have rice, then pickles and then mix it all of them together. Buffalo, Indian heaven. Heaven <laughs> again. My friends all vegetarians here. I'm the only one that's not a vegetarian. I haven't had buffalo biryani before. It looks really rich in like a yeah, sauce yeah, here. Mmm. Yeah. That is delicious. Good. Yeah, man. Uh, they cook the meat mm -hmm. and then they put the layer of rice over it. This, this yellow color mm -hmm. is because of saffron they added. We got the saffron, okay. Yeah, they put saffron in everything, so. And then you have whole spices. You can see the cloves as well. Mm. Also beef, cardamom, all of that. Has a lot of bone, so it's hard to get into. We just gotta break it up, mix up some rice, some buffalo. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Done? I'm done. I mean, let's go with my hand, yeah, right? Yeah. That's the way the locals eat. Yeah, yeah. That's how you have to eat. <laughs> mm. Wow. I've never eaten this much buffalo before. And the fat right there, all that gelatin. Mmm. Okay. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> Next stop? I don't know. My stomach's too full already. <laughs> have jalebi. We tried the jalebi yesterday at the that place and you can compare that taste. I find it better than the last. That we had yesterday at the jalebi place, but it was better than that. Jalebi is basically make a batter of white flour, then they deep fry it in clarified butter in ghee. Also, they fry they dip it into sugar syrup. That's jalebi. It's like a super sweet elephant ear. If you ever had elephant ear in the States, this is extremely rich in sugar. It's really good, but another really fine dish. So the difference between the ones I had yesterday on the Night Street Food Tour and this is that these are smaller and they're crispier. They look delicious, very sugary, very sweet. This is my boy right here. <laughs> Crispy and sweet. Good. So here are the jalebi, crispy, sugary, mm. extremely sweet. Oh. Okay, we'll have chai, and then uh, we'll we'll go to a place for chickpeas and a fried bread, chole bhature. This is like Starbucks. <laughs> this is like Starbucks <laughs> with no Wi-Fi. <laughs> This is, so this is one of the oldest tea shops in all of Delhi. It's 70 years old. Yeah, yeah. Gas or kerosene, they boil it very fast. That's what they are going to eat, like the chole bature. Chole bature. Yeah, chole is again chickpeas and the baturas are the fried bread. Eat like two chilies and then you eat the bread. <laughs> so we have chole bature, chickpeas with this bread. We're ready? Ready? We're breaking bread together. <laughs> like that, you open it up and then you go in. Yeah, that's the way you do it. That's the way you're supposed to do it, right? Oh, look at that. The chickpeas. Mmm. We savor every flavor. And now I'm gonna try a green chili. No. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Right? Bread is also soft. Yeah, the bread's very soft. And here in India, I guess you guys do like sort of like a taco. You split it up with whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's the carrot Okay. Nice Indian taco. Mmm. Very tasty. Big old. That's the same goes. Deli belly. <laughs> <laughs> now after all those delicious dishes, we're headed for the sweets. We're gonna try five different sweets and some lassi. 
probably the most real you can get in India is Old Delhi. Spice Market here. The real name of this place is Ali Bauli. But before the years, people have started calling it Spice Market. So they are known for their spices, then they have tea, and then you get dry fruit, dry nuts here. Prices, you were saying, these prices are for one kilo. Black cardamom, cloves, gooseberry candy, then there's dried lentil cakes, dried coconut, uh, cumin, black pepper, turmeric, coriander. The wholesale flower market here. So you have like three different kinds of flower here. You have marigold, then you have rose, and then daisy. 24 it's hours. 24 hours it operates. In fact, it's more busy early morning around 4 o'clock. Smells amazing. The biggest one in Asia, right? No, this flower market is not in Asia. I'm, I'm not saying. Spice market is in Asia. So the tradition is whoever comes through here, he gives them a flower. Oh, smells amazing. Yeah. Smells like a lychee. Uh, the name of this shop is China Ram Sweet Shop. This shop was started in 1901. In 1947, they moved from Pakistan to India and started this shop at this place. That's the best sweet shop in Delhi. Like they are known for their Karachi halwa. It's the sticky, chewy halwa made with starch and pistachios. And uh, then we'll have sev badam that's made with a chickpea flour. Then we'll have cashew burpee. Then we'll have coconut burpee. And we'll try um, the winter delicacy. They have only the winter sign, like dal halwa. Which one are these? This is coconut. That's made up of chickpea flour. Something which you get only around this holy festival, not throughout the year. Now the holy is coming next month. That's, that's coconut burpee. Mm. Coconut. This is what they are known for. And it's like it's Karachi halwa. Karachi halwa. The statue is in starch burpee. In fact, uh, it's very similar to Turkish delight. The only difference mm. is that in Turkish delight, they don't add ghee. Here we add ghee in it. It's a Turkish delight. Turkish delight. This is baklava. Yeah. It's a really good baklava. It's not, we call it uh, bujia, but it's not baklava. Same to me. <laughs> We're about to end our food tour with some lassi at the best lassi shop in all of Old Delhi. They have like six different flavors of lassi here. They have mango, that's seasonal, that's because that's, that's why it's not available. They have malai, that's a plain cream lassi, banana, namkeen jira is cumin and salt, kesar badam is saffron almond, rosam is rose almond. Lassi is like a yogurt based oh. drink, saffron, you can add banana, you can add mango. This is malai, the plain lassi. The plain Just lassi. with sugar, that's it, no flavors. This is yours. It's like a meal in itself, a yeah. like complete meal in itself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is the perfect thing to have after you eat spicy food because it like helps your stomach just relax. Mm. Straight up yogurt. Mm. It's extremely thick, man. Mm. Thank you, dude. Thank, Thank you. you. I hope you enjoyed the tour. I'm like, <laughs> I feel coma. like I'm in a food coma right now. I'm just really enjoying this. It's really nice, but I'm just gonna leave this. because. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed this breakfast food tour. My favorite thing was personally the goat feet. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah I loved it. How was but, the chickpeas? Chickpeas. Uh, chickpeas were really good, but the goat feet and the goat curry it was really just like the top for me. Ish. That's not really for breakfast in my opinion. That's like lunch, but it's good. That's what they eat. I love the lassi. I mean, I like everything in general, but the goat. So guys, if you love this video and you're coming to Delhi, please give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment below. Check out Delhi Food Walks if you want to try this tour. It's a must. Remember, come here with an empty stomach because you're really going to pop. All right? Hey, thank you so much. Thank you. I'll give you a hug, man. Give me a hug. This is my brother right here. Thank Subscribe you. to my channel and see more of Incredible India. <laughs> That's how we say it.